Hey, it's Hannah here, and today I want to show you a technique which I just think is so useful, I use it all the time, and it's called a round around pen. And basically what it is, is that you set up a round pen, and you go in the middle, and your horse goes on the outside. And I use it for teaching loads of different things, and I'll give you a little overview of those in this video, but you see it cropping up in so many of our courses, um, because you can use it in lots of different situations. The most common reason that I'll use it, or usually the first one, is that it gives you protected contact. So that means that there's a barrier between you and your horse. So um, let's take something like leading, which is a really common um, problem area that we, you know, a lot of people start with retraining using these um, techniques. And so if you've got a horse who tends to rush in front of you, or barge on top of you, um, or spook on top of you, or one that has a tendency to aggressive type behaviours, um, you want to obviously retrain those in a way which is safe, but also having the barrier between you means that you can stay really, really calm. So you don't have to start correcting your horse or defending yourself. Um, and the calmer the, the situation is, the faster the horse learns. Um, and it just gives you both the space to keep things really, really calm while you, the horse works out what's going to be the rewarding thing without you having to kind of bring in all that um, correction. So it helps to really speed up the, the training process. So you can see here with, um, this was my horse Freckles when he was uh, a lot younger, that um, he, it was as he started to kind of grow up a little bit, and um, he got a bit full of himself. And you could see with the leading, he'd start to kind of toss his head and occasionally strike out. And just, he was just a young horse that was full of himself, but that's the kind of situation where you don't, where, I want, where you'd use the round pen to retrain it. So what you can do instead is just calmly ignore all that stuff, walk beside him and when he's in the right position, he's soft, he's relaxed and calm, you can reinforce then. So obviously the more it's reinforced, the more you're gonna see it. <laughs> and Freckles showed that and he was able to kind of uh, learn where the best place was for him. And because he'd gone through that process of understanding it himself, he really owned it. So it was a really, really strong behavior. Um, and that's a really common way that you can use it. The other really important piece of the round pen is that it allows them the horse to move. So obviously you've seen that in the leading. Leading is a, <laughs> a, you know, they have to move when you're leading, so you can't really teach it over a stable door or something. Um, but also when you're introducing reward-based training, one of the biggest mistakes people make is keeping everything stationary for too long. And you'll see in our foundation course, we introduce movement right away. But it's really important for horses to move. They're very physical creatures and it helps them to um, either just let off some energy, especially if they've got a bit excited. Um, and it also just keeps things different and, and gets you to move and keeps them really connected to you as well. So um, I really, really love that it allows people to do that kind of you know, as I use this a lot with obviously a lot of difficult horses and the ones at the rescue centre and things. You can add in that movement and them following you and staying with you right from the really from the very start. And you can do it at liberty, you can do it with the target, you can do it with the head collar, it's really, really versatile. But they learn to come with you, they learn the position and they learn that staying calm and polite is really, really valuable. So talking of movement, one of the other ways I use the round pen so often is for teaching lunging. And this is because, again, it's a really simple, clear way to teach your horse what you want. So they just have to walk around the outside of the pen. Um, and they, they get used to you working at a distance, to following your cues at a distance, um, without constantly having to come in on top of you and you having to chase them out and all that mess that can happen when either horse and or human is uh, learning how to lunge and to do a nice circle. Um, as they start to... Uh, progress, especially when you're teaching the canter, they've got such a tendency to fall in and this just supports them and especially while they're trying to work out all their legs and things, they don't have to think about trying to maintain the same the circle as well. So they've got the fence there to support them. Um, so as they're learning the canter, that supports them from falling in. Again, it keeps you safe, you don't have to keep chasing the horse out. It doesn't become a model, it's just really calm and really clear. It's a great way for them to learn it. Once they understand how to lunge, then um, again because they've, they've really owned this piece of learning, they've gone through it themselves, they really get it, it's then pretty straightforward to remove the fence and get some really nice liberty lunging as well. So again, that's in detail in the lunging course, but um, it's a really nice way of, of building that in. So I do also use the round pen, it's great for teaching horses to stay focused, to, um, and I teach a lot of lateral work with them, especially like shoulder and things, it's great to have the fence there while they start to understand how to do these movements. 
um, and then once they've, they've got it and they understand it, it's pretty straightforward to take the fence away. So it's a really great tool, I use it in loads of different situations and um, it's something that a lot of our students have found really helpful as well. So I hope that gives you some ideas of how you can use it. Um, as I say, if you want more in-depth guides on how to use it for various bits and pieces, do take a look at our home study courses um, and I hope that's helped you out.